Good evening and welcome to February 25th, 2021 Planning Board meeting. Um, obviously, we're doing this remotely because of the COVID guidelines. The first application or the first, yeah, application agenda is a lot line adjustment for R. John and Rod Rodlin, okay, Knox on Crossroad in Sugar, South Sugar Hill. So we have a couple. I didn't print out the application. Oh, well, I know we had waivers for topo, wetlands on the entire lot, soils. What's the other one, Art? Winter fourth one? Soils. Uh, I don't have the <laughs> application in front of me. You want me, you want me to uh, read it, Craig? Apologize. I'll, uh, I can yeah. read it. I got it right here if you want it. Test, the test pit, 4,000 square foot area. Contours on entire lot, soils on entire lot, wetlands shown on entire lot. And I think that was the four of them. Yeah, it can't be on entire. It can't be on the entire lot because I did show contours on the new lot, so I'm not sure. Is that what I said? That's what you said. What? Oh boy. Well, either way, we've got contours on the on, lot on, the, on, on the proposed lot thirty three dot one, right? Yes. Yes. We got topo yes. soils and wetlands on. I don't see soils. No, I said that. We got topo wetlands on the proposed thirty three dot one. So we need a waiver for. Test pits in 4K, contours on the, on a portion of the lot, wetlands on a portion, and soils on a portion. Are you gonna, are you gonna point faster? Oh, geez. Yeah, before the meeting, I said I wouldn't forget. I need to appoint Pastor Bill as a voting member. Yes. Thank you. And I said I wasn't going to forget. So everybody's in a motion mood tonight, huh? I'll make a motion we accept the waivers for test pit and 4K area, contours on the entire lot, soils on the entire lot, and wetlands on the entire lot. Can second. we get a second? Thank second. you. We got a second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Does anybody want to make a motion to have an application complete? So moved. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay, Mr. Siciliano, you are accepted as complete. Okay. So Art Siciliano representing uh, John and Rodlin Knox for a lot line adjustment on uh, Cross Road and Sugar Hill, South Sugar Hill Road. Uh, they own lot uh, 32 and 33.1 on map 406. Uh, the lots are in commercial and rural conservation zone. And lot uh, 32 is uh, existing as 3.52 acres. And lot 33.1 is 20.62 acres. Neither lot is in a uh, flood hazard zone or an aquifer protection area. Um, so we're creating, we're leaving the remainder of uh, lot 33 will be um, 6.04 acres. As you can see on there, that's what that's the lot that we should. There's a lot of wetland on the lot, but I made the lot big enough to conform to uh, table one, the dry area conforms to table one. Lot 32 will be 18.10 acres with 320 feet of frontage 
and the other uh, 33.1 will have over 545 feet. Um, we received a variance to cross the wetland buffer for lot 33.1 back in uh, January 5th. And the, uh, we are granted that waiver to cross the wet through that buffer. And I'm in the process of almost ready to submit the dredge and fill to, for the crossing there. They, they installed a, a culvert back last uh, June. And uh, so we're going for an after the fact for that cul existing culvert there and uh, a new culvert for the second crossing. Thank you. Receive that, we we'll, should be good, but uh, that's pending. How much they is this all zone commercial? Pardon? Pardon me, but is this all zone commercial? Uh, no, it's not. So you can see the zone line there. Oh, there I see it. Sorry. Right above parcel A, that's where um, the zone comes down. Uh, well, lot 32 is not in this commercial, but um, the commercial that it, uh, you can see the words labeled commercial there. And then yes. at the split there, uh, parcel, parcel A is going to be commercial. Well, of course, it won't be parcel A. It's going to be part of, uh, part of lot 32. So lot 32 will be partially commercial and partially uh, RCs along. <laughs> which it was anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're not changing the zone. I was just kind of... No, we're not changing the zone. The right. zone lines, the, long, the zone lines are those dashed lines. So yep. It's, uh, not changing anything. My bifocals aren't working good tonight, so I apologize. Anybody else have any questions? Um, I wanted to know if we should identify the other the new lot line as the proposed lot line. Oh yes. As the other two lines are identified as lines to be eliminated. Yes, there was a little confusion on that already. If you could just label that new lot line as proposed lot line. The new lot line is the new lot line. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. That's pretty easy to do. <laughs> Now you can hear me. No, huh? oh, there you go. Now you can hear you. The um, upland on that uh, thirty-three point one. Can you put it? Add a note on the note three. What the total mm -hmm. upland is, and the, wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Sorry. For, for the table, for the for the table and zoning. Yes. Table one one for minimum lot size. Because it is. I mean, it meets it, but it is close. Table one one. Oh, you want me to? Add? Yeah. Oh. In, oh, in uh, note three, add what I'm at. Uh, what the dry area is. Right, and 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 compare it to what the the table is. I mean, I think you're over by like oh, five thousand square feet. Saying. It's close. I just because it's close, I thought it'd be a good idea to have it in there. Did I label what it was dry? No. No. Okay. Okay. Add add a note three uh, table one and what I'm providing. Right. Okay. And the wetland buffer note that we usually put on there too. Say that again. The wetland buffer note saying that you can't cut trees and that kind of stuff in the buffer. Oh yeah, I don't have that on there. No. <laughs> I missed that too until just now for some reason. Yeah. Wetland buffer note. Add it.
That's why we didn't have any room here, but I'll have to make some. <laughs> all kinds of room. You get all kinds of white space on there. Yes, slide your location <laughs> map up a little bit. I have no made. problem. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's wonderful just moving things around. Do you have any monuments to set? Uh, no, they're all set. How about that? Amazing, man. You got no bends in the walls. Nice straight walls are. They are pretty straight. Well, since we have somebody else on the screen, I guess I got to ask if anybody from the public has any comments. Seeing none, I'll close it for public comment. Anything else from any of the, anybody else on the board? Not even a smirk from Bruce. Jeez. No, I'm good. I know. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the application with the uh, three conditions. One, to add a proposed lot line to the proposed lot line label, add a wetland buffer note, and to add table one showing the upland area for proposed lot 33.1. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what about the permit that's supposed to be forthcoming? Uh, the way I look at it, it's an existing issue, and whether we do a lot line adjustment or not, he has the same frontage and same access issue. So there's no, you don't want to impose the condition that he get the permit before the no, he wouldn't. just go through. Okay, thank you. He would have had to get the permit anyway. If we did a sub, if we're doing a subdivision, we would. Yes. Greg, can you repeat number one? Label the proposed lot line as proposed. I think that was number one. Yep. Thank you. Second the motion. Thank you. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Congratulations, Mr. Art. Thank you. Appreciate it. The second item on the agenda is a site plan review for Safely Store, located at 424 South Stark Highway, tax map 109, lot 8. And since I did the plan, I have to step down. And since we have nothing else on the agenda, I'm going to say good night to everybody at the same time. Did you have anything for January minutes that you want to comment on? No, we can worry about this next month. Next month, okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good. <clears throat> okay. Um, we got the application for safely store open a public hearing for safely store. 424 South Star Highway. Everybody hear me? Yes. What? Yes. Okay. The, um, I guess he's adding, going to build his, I think that's the last building pad we approved originally, was it? No, originally there were 12 buildings approved. In other words, the buildings were going all the way across, the, across oh, that, okay. yeah. all the way to where Margo's house used to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've got eight buildings, four, four in the front were the original, and then there were eight in the back on the original plan. Right now we've got four and four. So this would be adding a fifth one in the back that was on the original plan. So we'd be up at nine buildings and it would reduce the amount of outside parking, which was a subsequent approval. Right. Okay. So it's, it's very straightforward. It's, it's ex the building's exactly like the other buildings, color, everything, yep. provided by the same company, et cetera. We'll go through the um, application here first. I don't see any waivers being asked for.
state town driveway permit. I don't know why that's circled. Kelly, you know why the state town driveway permit circled on the application? Why it's circled on the application? Hmm. Just the last page of the checklist. Oh, I think because I had found it in the old file, that's all. I think it was just my note. Okay. I think I remember going over it with Benji and I found it in the very first file. That's all. And I did not see any waivers requested, no. Okay, want to make a motion on the application? Move the application be accepted as complete. Second. A discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, no one else is here, so. so the application's been accepted as complete. You want to, um, you already started, but you want to describe the, what you're, trying, what you're looking to do here? Um, like I said, we're adding, we're adding a ninth building. I currently have eight buildings. Well, the building that stands by itself, um, uh, which is 115 feet long, same exact length as the other four back buildings, 40 feet wide. So it's identical to the building that's on the opposite end. So okay. yeah, that other 40 by 115. And it's identical in every way. It's coming from the same same manufacturer, same colors, same snow load, everything. Um, so this, this, all it is is uh, uh, DNS excavating will prepare a pad site and they'll come wrap that building up. It takes about two days and uh, extend the paving as, as noted on the plan. That's it. Okay, and all the drainage was already put in, there's no there, issue. There is, uh, there would be one more uh, culvert going in, in the very back corner, going to the existing rear uh, detention pond. So the oh, very- that one right in the back corner is not in? Okay. That is not in. CB33? Yeah. Right. Kelly, did you find your plan, Kelly? I sent you what I found. Oh. Did you get my email right after you called me? I'm looking now. Find it in your email? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. <coughs> so this. So this proposed building is a little bit different than the one that was in phase three, right? That would be like the first building in phase three, this, this one you're looking yeah, at? This now. building, yeah, that building uh, in the original plan was a 30 foot wide by 150. Actually, it looks like it's longer, no? No, 115 feet, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same as the other four buildings are there. The, the next building over in that plan, the sixth one over actually gets longer, 140 feet. But this one's 115. This is the, the fifth building over from Beauvais driveway. It was a 30 by 115. That's not what I'm saying. The first building, the first four buildings are, are there in the back where I'm talking about. Yeah. And it shows a they're all the same length. Yeah. The first, the first one's a little wider. The other three are narrower, but they're all the same size. Yeah. Then the next one down, which is, looks like the first one in phase three, it's right up against the phase two, phase three line. Um, 
Hang on a second. I, I've got to, if you want me to look at that, I'll get the original plan out. I got to, if I can share my screen, I can show it to everybody. No, the original plan, no. The original plan has four buildings identical. So the first one closest to Beauvais driveway is 115 by 40. And then there are four that are 115 by 30. Bruce, I just took the plan out of the file. I don't know if there was an amended one. I didn't have time to search any other files. There might've been an amended one. No, there was, no, the building size has never changed in the planning process. Okay. Until today. Until today, yes. In, in the original planning process. I mean, there weren't multiple versions with different size buildings. I mean, this isn't the signed plan that, she, that Kelly sent me. So it may be not always approved. No, that is not a signed plan. That was the copy that was in the file. Well, regardless, I've got the signed plan in front of me and it's 115 by 30, but now we're changing it to 115 by 40. The reason for that change is it's probably the last building I'm going to do. I don't need that. So I could, so I could go wider because I'm not trying to fit those other three buildings in. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody else who voted for the comments? A uh, couple. <clears throat> if um, there's a change in plans, how do we deal with that? To, uh, Andy said two things. First of all, he, he doesn't want to put in three of the additional four that were part of the original approval. And he wants to change the dimensions of one of the four, the one well, that he's going to, to uh, build now. He wants it 40 feet wide as opposed to 30. Is, is that correct? Correct, but, it, but you've got a new plan in front of you. Yeah. And, and and the original plan has already been superseded by a plan that just had eight buildings with RV parking and the rest of it. This is, this is basically plan number three. And another question, Bruce. Um, Andy, uh, this, this building is also very visible from the road. And frankly, the um, vegetation that you planted along the road doesn't really do very much to uh, screen these buildings from the highway. Um, had you any thoughts about improving the screening? Well, part of the problem is that the, build, the, the plants are immature and they are growing quite rapidly at this point. But that building is going, what, what you're looking at now, if you can see in that area, is a, bunch, is a row of RVs parked there which is changing out to a building. I'd hold out to you that the building's more attractive than the row of RVs. We're not going backwards, we're going forward. But the, the other RV, thing is, the, the other the thing RV, is- I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, the other thing is I, 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 <clears throat> I already have more plantings there than virtually any other commercial property in, in the entire town. So, uh, you know, it wasn't my intention to put more than that. I, you know, as these things mature, they're gonna be less and less visible. But I constantly get comments from, from the public and from customers that, about what a good looking property it is. So I, I don't know what the issue is. The issue is visibility. The, th the original plan was designed to screen this. Um, it wasn't that you were putting up landscaping to make it more attractive. You were putting up landscaping to screen it so it wouldn't be visible to the traveling public. No, not, it, not that it wouldn't be visible. That it would be softened. You can't, you can't run a business and have your business invisible. That was never that was never agreed to that it would not be visible, that we would soften the view of it is what we, we talked about and, and agreed to. And I, that's what we've done. And as as the years progress and these and these plantings get larger and larger, then uh, that is going to eventually 
cover more and more of it. Um, tell me where the where the RVs that remain will be parked in the in same the place they are now. Yes, but it, it, it reduces that size. So, in other words, where this ninth building is going currently has RVs on it. So I'm losing that much RV space. So they're not being relocated on the lot. They're just not going to be available for spots next year. Yeah, I'm going to have less spots. Well, you so you're going to put a four foot retaining wall to, to have RV parking on the lower end as well as the upper end. Correct. So they so they're back to back, just like they are now. Right, but just at two different levels. Well, they are on two different levels now. Now it's a That's slope. True. That's true. It's a slope, which is which the reason for going with the retaining is the slope yep. wasting an awful lot of land. Understood. What um, what's the construction of that retaining wall going to be? Two foot by two foot by eight foot concrete blocks that are set a foot in the ground and then set back two inches with each with each with so each row. Split They're, block? Or are they just like plain square blocks with no? They're plain square blocks, but they're not facing the road. They're facing the building. Yeah, they're facing the building, but they'll still be they'll still be visible. Um, they're not going to be obscure because it, I mean, whether whether your entryway is, the gate is, and all that, you can see right up through there. And did, you didn't you never did much planting to the north of the entry because it was all. There was some existing vegetation there, and you, and you didn't build that retention pond that's there because you didn't need it for the, the part that you did. Well, that was that was for the yeah. That detention pond is only needed if I did those other three buildings. Right, right. But yeah, I'm not saying there was anything wrong with not building it, but I don't think you ever did any plantings up in there because yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I added yeah. more last year when when Chip, but when Chip Meany was still here, he asked me to add more, and I did. You're talking about where the telephone pole is. Outside the gate. Yes. Yeah. And there I'll, are right now. There are uh, um, um, uh, along the fence. There are three bit, three plants that will actually grow pretty rapidly because they're uh, they're uh, those Nantucket uh, what do you call them Nantucket cypress whatever. And there's a big forsythia that's right by the telephone pole. Okay. That um, that that retaining wall is there anything you do to tune that up and it's gonna it's not, that's not gonna look great well like i said you're almost not gonna be able to see it it's not it's not facing the road plus when you get rvs on top and below it you're not gonna see it at all anyways correct how um how are you gonna have rvs below it isn't it too narrow a space between the wall and the building no cutting that slope back feet there so the slope gets first, cut back We've got 32 feet after the, you know, 32 feet between the oh, retaining okay. wall and the beginning of the pavement. So they'll be the smaller RVs. They'll be the, you know, the ones that are under 30 feet. How many RV spaces do you have now? And how many RV spaces will you have uh, after you make the changes on the plan? Well, it's, it's not, they're not painted spaces. So it's not a counted number of spaces. It's just when I run out, I run out. But right now I can probably fit 60 and after this i'd probably be able to fit about 45. thank you currently there's about 45 there right now when are you looking to get started on this uh in the spring i have to order the building and so i, I don't know what their backlog is on delivery Okay, I'd, I'd like to take a walk out there. Um, I can do it this week sometime. Any other board members want to do it with me? Sure. Well, I really didn't want to extend this to another meeting. And the reason is if I don't order this building, then I'm not going to get it in this summer. Well, we can do, we can. I just like to take a look at where the wall is going to go and kind of get a visual in my head. I mean, well, the wall is going to go. Is going I, to I, go. See where, I see on the plane where it is, but I'd really like this. All right. Well, you know where the existing slope is? 
Yeah. That slope's probably going to be cut back about 20 to 30 feet. And that's where the wall's going. Straight line, just like the slope yeah. is right now, a straight line. But I'd like to take a look at it. And I mean, we have a meeting in two weeks, right, Kelly? Yes. You have one March 11th and March 25th. So I'd really like to take a look out there and personally continue this to March 11th. Well, you know, you, you're going to, you, you can do what you can do. I mean, obviously that's your decision. I, I'm not happy with it because I really wanted to order this building tomorrow. I mean, this is such, such a straightforward plan. I've got eight buildings. I'm adding one more just like it. I mean, it's it going to be more straightforward. I'd like to see the approved plan too. Cause I mean, the plan I got doesn't show that building it. I'm not saying the plan I have is right. At all, I mean, well, it's irrelevant. This plan replaces any other plans. Yes and no. I mean, yes, it does replace any other plan, but I, the other plan is what we we based our approval on before. And to come in here with, and say, okay, I've, I've changed it. This is a new plan, and expect a, us to say okay tonight is an unreasonable expectation. Well. It's my expectation was based on what happened the last meeting I came to, which was approved in one. I had eight buildings and I was changing, uh, adding RV parking. That was like, that took 10 minutes. It was approved. And the, so the plan, the plan that's the plan of record right now has eight buildings, not 12 and RV park. Mm -hmm. This is the third plan of record. What I'm asking for nine buildings and reduced RV parking. Okay, the, the original plan had 12 buildings. That ninth building was and a adding different a, dimension. And you're adding a, 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 pardon my language here, an ugly concrete retaining wall that I'd like to see if we can see it or not. Because it's it, that wall is not, it'll hold the dirt back, but that's it. It's not I understand, but you, you, realize that, you realize that the entire wall is going to be have RVs in front of it. So unless you walk the behind the time, RVs, you're not going to see the wall. When everybody has your RVs at home or in the campgrounds in the summertime, there's not going to be anything in front of it. There's, the, the, you know what the funny thing about being in the RV parking business is? 90% of those RVs never move. Yeah. Just like marinas, 90% of the boats never <clears> move. But I'd like, I'd like to take a look at it. And I think another, board, another one or two board members would too. Is, is that a motion you're making, Bruce? It uh, is. Second. The motion is to continue yes. the hearing until March 11th. Yes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Did Pastor vote? Yes. Oh, okay. So three. What, it, what do you guys want to meet? Want to do it Saturday or something? Or? I'm busy at one this Saturday, but other than that, I'm free this weekend and I'm free next week. Uh, yeah, we can do a Saturday morning. Get it over with. Nine o'clock Saturday morning? Sure. Okay. All right. Can I ask you a favor? Can I give sure. you my phone number so you can, if you have questions, we can get them ironed out before the next meeting so we don't have continuance again? Yep. Go ahead. It's uh, uh, actually you, you might not want to give it over. The <laughs> Wait, you, you can you can you email it to me if you want. In, I'll email. Uh, it to, I'll reply to the email you sent me this morning, yes. this afternoon, with my phone number on it. Yeah, okay? yeah, and okay. I'll send it to the members that way. I mean, actually, if you if you just call the phone number that's on the sign when you're there, it forwards to my cell phone. Okay. Okay. So, you know, there's a five two nine number that's right on the sign. Okay. And and what time, Bruce? On Saturday, I have to post nine it. nine o'clock. 9 a.m. Okay, thank you. And then March 11th will be 7 p.m. on the agenda. Yes. Okay. There were a couple of there were a couple of items that needed to be on noted on the plan. I don't know if you saw my mock-up review. No, we'll get. I'll take it. Okay, we'll see if there's anything disturbing, but no, there was one spelling area and 
I didn't know if there was any new lighting. Uh, there is no new lighting. Okay. No landscaping? No. The only thing that's new other than the building is that one culvert that I already identified. Okay. In the back corner. And, and, the, addition, no and the additional paving? The additional paving, yes, is on, yeah. Uh, you know, paving around the building, just like the other buildings are all paved around. And Conservation Commission would like to know who delineated the wetlands? Who delineated them? I guess it wasn't marked on the plan. You mean what engineering firm did it? Yes. Uh, um, Bedford Design did everything. Okay. Haven't put a statement on there that who did it. Okay. Well, I can send that to Craig too. Yeah. Yeah, Craig is the one that did through this. So. Okay. And the fire chief reviewed the plan and he was gonna check the life safety codes for having vehicles being stored inside the building. He just wanted me to make a note of it. it is this building going to have vehicles stored inside? Vehicles? There are some storage units where people store collectible cars and stuff. I mean, it, virtually every storage facility in the country has that. Because what happens when you rent a storage space from me is I don't know what you put in there. You 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 get a space and you put your own padlock on there, but uh, so I could yes, put in. That's a common use of, of self storage. Is is, the, is so I could put in hazardous chemicals, explosives. Well, you sign a contract saying you won't, but I certainly don't go through your personal property. And and a car with a gasoline in the tank is not violation in violation of that contract. Uh, no, it's not. It has to be. It ha it can't be full. So it has room for the vapor, but you, but it's 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 described in detail as to what's allowed and what's not allowed. I use the contract that is the standard contract written by the New Hampshire State Self Storage Association. So virtually every every self storage facility in the country, including all the other ones in Ware, probably use the same contract. Yeah, there's no electricity in the unit, so it's, no, there's no electricity in the unit. So they're not going to work on it because there's no power. So. There, well, and, and that is prohibited. If I actually had a customer once who I saw, I, I saw you work on one and I, and I asked him to leave. So, you know, because I don't want that. I, I, I keep neat, clean property. Right, right. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, no updated percentage of lot coverage? No updated percentage. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't see that on the plan. Usually, sometimes I see so much percentage of a lot being covered, especially on a commercial lot. Would that be Bedford Design too? Yes, obviously it's it's far less than the original plan because the original plan and original plan called for twelve buildings and pavement around all of them. Okay. Yeah, but as you said, this is a a new a new plan, right? So, so would, if you could put a note on there saying what the lot coverage is, okay, um, just to cover that base on this plan, okay, including the RV parking area that's effectively impervious because of the parking. Well, they're parking. They're parking on gravel that perks. Yeah, but it's still considered impervious because they're, they're parking on it. Okay. Anything packed down by vehicles is considered impervious. Well, you really can't pack this gravel. That's the whole reason I had yeah, to. I, I had to I spend extra can, money but... on those detention ponds to put in stuff to slow it down, slow yeah. the perk down. <laughs> I don't know if you call that from way back. Well, I do. There. Yeah, it's pretty coarse material in there. Yes. That's it. We'll um, okay. close the public hearing. I'll see you on the 11th. Okay. Thank you. I know we didn't ask for a public comment, but it doesn't appear we had any on here, and we'll do that on the March 11th meeting. Okay.
Anybody else have anything tonight? No, um, Craig said we're going to postpone the minute, so. Yeah. That was it on the agenda, right? Yes, I forgot to put the minutes on you anyway, but okay. we're not doing them tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, you want me to declare the meeting closed? Yes. Okay. Sure. Done. I'll do that. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.